Hello YouTubers. Today I'm going to be reviewing the HTC EVO 3D in 2022. Uh, this phone was released in July of 2011. So what I'm going to do is, uh, it, this is a pretty clean phone. This is actually, it says Sprint on it, right? But it's not Sprint. This is an unlocked version. Uh, a lot of people in the U.S. would not have seen this phone as a GSM phone. But, yeah, you can see this phone's pretty clean. No scratches on the screen. And then if we do the, the back here. See the back's pretty pretty clean. It's like a basically brand new phone. I had another one of these, but I flashed the the H boot. The wrong H boot. So let me take the back cover off. These were always fun to get off. There we go. Without breaking them. So there goes your 3D cameras. This is uh where your your SIM card is gonna go into right here. So your SIM card goes right in there. That's why I have I have a T-Mobile SIM card in there, and I have an SSD card. You got your battery, obviously. It's pretty cool how they made this like transparent color here. It kind of like a see-through, like so you could see the electronics a little bit. Would have been cool if they wouldn't have went all plastic. So that's the back cover. Now, I remember rocking this back in the day. Uh, a Sprint model phone flashed to Cricket. That was some years ago. And I actually had the extended battery and everything with the extended back cover. Thing lasted forever. So I'm going to put the cover back on it. And we can turn it on. Okay, it says no service. Alright, so we got Edge Network there. I mean, look how cool the clock was set up. This was one awesome phone HTC built. Even made, like, the wallpaper kind of 3D. So I'm on Edge. Let's try loading browser. Now, they're going to disable the network of the Edge network and the 3G here, I believe, this year this summer of 2022 wow look how long google takes to load Let's see if we could search something here we get the keyboard and it vibrates too each time you type it Blazing speed. Remember rocking this back in the day, the Edge Network and the 3G? So the antenna bands are different on this. This would most likely get the 3G if it was on AT&T Network. But T-Mobile doesn't house that. It's like basically like the old iPhone. Old iPhones you would flash back the 3Gs and the iPhone 2. God, that brings back some memories. So, I mean, it kind of loads. It's still loading. That processing power. Alright, so... Get, go to home. And I like how you got these buttons. Home, everything like that. 
Now, let's check out the real feature, 3D camera. Now, what phone do you know has a 3D camera? Oh, we don't got the case in there all the way. Or the cover. So, you basically got your toggle switch here from 2D to 3D. And how awesome is it to have a shutter button on the actual phone to take a photo? So you can access the camera just by pressing and holding that. Now you guys ain't going to be able to see the 3D, but you don't need 3D glasses to be able to view this phone. So whatever picture you take, you could see in 3D on this phone. I don't know if you could see that a little bit. But if I take a picture, look at the cool sound too. So you can see the waves in it. That's going to project you have to have the phone at least like a, a foot, foot and a half away from you to be able to view it and angle just right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check out, we'll check out some gallery. So these are 3D photos. We'll go here. You can see how they pop up as 3D. Let's check the kitty cat out. So see how it's moving? I mean, it's just so awesome that this technology that no other company has came out with a phone with the screen like this, with better resolution, and with these features, having the 3D feature without viewing them without the 3D gla or 3D glasses. So I mean, so you're not going to be able to see it. I mean, that's 3D. That's not really a good picture over. Let's see. You can see the 3D how it's shifting. So one eye is going to see one image and your other eye is going to see the other image. And let me tell you, you think you could touch the screen when you're trying to view it. Let's check another one out. And any object that's up up front close, like I have a picture of my hand up close. We'll check that one out. And then we're gonna check the screen out under the microscope when it's in 3D mode. See how that's like moved over way over because of the depth. Now we could select this. I don't know if I have to be in the other direction. Let's see. Maybe I have to be up this way. All right, so now we can hit, I think it's 3D, let's see. No, I believe we gotta go more options here. No, edit. So I could save as 2D. Now let's just save that photo as a 2D. So if we go back, camera shots this was saved as a regular photo now and you can 
can see it's not in 3D now. I mean, how cool is that? Alright. Let's go to one of the 3D photos here. Now I'm going to do is put this upright and then we'll check it underneath the microscope. Wow, I'm kind of like seeing the image kind of like pop out at me underneath the microscope. That is weird. So you can see how the screen has lines in it. Let's see if we can get down to this. Let's try focusing on that. So that's how the screen is when it's in 3D mode. Let's see if we can get regular. Here's a regular, regular image. Can you see now we don't have those vertical lines? Those lines going up and down, whatever. Look at that resolution of that screen. That's the best I can get. Let's see. Turn the light up. No. no. Let's get different, like a brighter part here. Let's see, image. How's that? All right. So that should be about the same same area. Now we're gonna go back to the 3D photo. See how it just went to. Like it started all those lines. That's what's being projected at you. So you don't need 3D glasses. I mean, that is just cool. And if we kind of like look at the image, it kind of looks like it goes like rounded. That's the best time I get it. I don't know, it's just... Looks like kind of rounded. <clears throat> so... Three D. Three D. Three D. No three D.
Yeah, so basically, I just wanted to show you guys that video uh, video of the phone still working in 2022. I think it was one of the coolest phones ever designed. I don't know why ain't any other company picked this feature up. I don't know if it's something with HTC, they have the rights to it or something, but... Would be nice to see this in, like, the iPhone as a feature in the iPhone or a newer Android phone. So I hope you guys liked the video of the review of the HTC Evo 3D in 2022. You guys get a chance? Give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching.